Hey everybody, we are delighted that you're a part of Journey Church's worship experience today. And I'm particularly delighted that we have Dwayne and Wanda Beaver who are going to be a part of our service today. Hello everybody. Good morning. <laughs> this is just a time in which we're going to be learning some from Dwayne and Wanda about their faith journey and particularly how that's been impacted when it comes to your finances. So, so I'd just like to sort of ask you, how would you say that your faith influences how you handle money? Okay. You want to start now? Um, I just want to say that we are incredibly blessed. Um, and knowing where our blessings come from, we also know that God owns everything and we own nothing and all he asks is that we are good stewards of the things that he's blessed us with and with that faith as a as a grounding purpose it allows us to um, use that in a lot of our other uh, spiritual gifts and things along that line okay well i'm curious how your faith specifically uh, has changed the way you've handled money through the years. Have you always done it the same way or has it changed some? So it has changed. It's changed dramatically for me. Mm -hmm. So I moved to Roanoke in 2007 uh, when the housing market was doing pretty good. Shortly thereafter, I went through a divorce. I had to do a short sale on a house and I found myself in a financial burden, to be quite honest. And in around that time, Wanda and I had started, or a little after that, we'd started dating. And Wanda is the one that had tithed pretty much her entire life. And I was able to see what the tithing, what the faithfulness and things like that did. So I prayed about it some, I thought about it a lot, and I decided, okay, here we go, we're gonna start this. And I was still in a place of some financial burdens. Um, so I started tithing. I'd been one that would just give 20 here, something along that line. But I started tithing in a short period of time. And when I say a short period of time, within a month, the, uh, a lot of the financial burden questions had been answered, had been addressed, and I could see where I was going to be able to get out of that burden as I went through it and um, with the tithing portion have never looked back. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. I'm curious about something. What has been hardest for either or both of you when it comes to managing money in a godly way? What's been difficult or challenging for you about that? I think um just giving up control, you know, I tend to be a bit of a control freak at times, <laughs> but just, just, you know, allowing God to lead me where, you know, or us and where we need to spend our money and, um, I think again, it goes back to sort of what Juan had mentioned a little bit ago. It's not ours. Uh, it's God's to start with, and it, it's it's a discipline, mm. um, along with say prayer or something along that line. Um, so it is a discipline, and uh, yeah, there's there's things that um, you know you say how or take that money and put towards that, but that's not that's not God's will. That's not what He wants for us. That's not what we want. Um, and then. Uh, one of the things that we've talked about at, at times is um, having the ability to maybe help others whenever uh, they may be in a time of uh, need or something along that line. If it's a, a gift card or something like that, it, it just provides a, a sense of a sense of peace, a sense of love in your in your own heart and things like that. So. Over time, uh, you've developed this faithful spirit of giving, and it's blessed others, but it's blessed you as well, been meaningful to you. 
and over time you've increased in the generosity that you have because you understand everything belongs to God. So there are other people who want to be generous, but they are finding it difficult to actually do that. What, what would you say to those folks? I think first, um, you need to pray about it. Uh, ask the Holy Spirit to kind of lead you in which direction, where, where you should give. Um, for me, uh, I think starting out would be the easiest is to tithe. Um, maybe start with a small tithe and just watch what happens. Um, I'll add to that a little bit. One of the things that provides a sense of comfort at, at Journey in particular um, with the giving and the, the handling of money is they make it very um, open as to where the money goes. Each week we talk about one of our mission partners in the service as well as on a fairly often basis, once, twice a year, one of those mission partners will come in and interact with the congregation and show where we are giving that back and things like that. So there are lots of opportunities to give to a variety of causes. Is there a particular reason that you give specifically to the church? Part of it, I think, is what I just went into and, and knowing what we're helping out or knowing the causes that it's going to and things like that. Um, one of Wanda's favorite in particular is the, the backpack ministry. Um, that's one that she will be riding to church and she's like, oh, I forgot my backpack or something along that. Or I'll go be inside and say, you forgot the backpack in the car, you have to go back and get it. Or, um, but just the, the understanding of how the church is using the money and where it is going and you know one of the things that we had talked about is the easy part for us is the, the tithing mm -hmm. then it's on to the people that you give the money to and how they are stewards of the money it takes a lot of the pressure off of you and the burden of knowing is it used for the right thing because you know when we're faithful and we give to the church then it's like you said it kind of places you know, more pressure on journey to use it, but we know we're confident that it's being used for, for, you know, to further God's kingdom. So journey seeks to be faithful in our handling of God's money, but we're grateful for folks like you who are faithful in your giving, and we thank you so much for sharing with us today. Thank you.